this is Shelley Neese with the Jerusalem Connection. A central tenet in the faith life of any observant Jew is prayer. In synagogue, Jews join former prayer services three times a day, every day. In addition to that, they have dozens of spontaneous prayers for everything from washing hands to throwing out bread. The Siddur is the Jewish prayer book, which contains all the prayers and blessings for regular weekdays and the Sabbath. In our family, we have incorporated some of the, these prayers and it has added a wonderful richness to our family prayer life. We say the Jewish prayer for safe travel. Every Sabbath, we say a prayer of blessing over each of our children. I've posted on our blog some of the English translations to a few of these various prayers and blessings. I thought other Christians may choose to incorporate some of these into their daily prayer lives. So to get us started and nudge you with a little inspiration, I wanted to read one of the most important and commonly recited prayers in Jewish liturgy. The Kaddish. The earliest form of the Kaddish prayer goes all the way back to the Second Temple period. This prayer was recited in order to close a group prayer service. Over time, it became the customary prayer for periods of mourning the death of a family member. The prayer strikes me as so powerful for the way it sanctifies God's name. Here it is. May the great name of God be exalted and sanctified throughout the world, which he has created according to his will. May his kingship be established in your lifetime and in your days and in the lifetime of the entire household of Israel, swiftly and in the near future. And say amen. May his great name be blessed forever and ever, blessed, praised, glorified, exalted, extolled, honored, elevated, and lauded. Be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is he above and beyond any blessings and hymns, praises and consolations which are uttered in the world, and say amen. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life upon us and upon all Israel, and say amen. He who makes peace in his high holy places, may he bring peace upon us and upon all Israel, and say amen. <laughs>